Hi guys, Gary here with Gary Clayton Photography. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today, well, here in central Ontario for the last two and a half to three weeks, we have been covered by this Arctic air mass. Mountains of snow, amazingly cold temperatures. I'm talking temperatures with a daytime high of like minus 25 degrees uh, Celsius and with a nighttime low of minus 35 degrees Celsius. That's not including the wind chill factor. It's even colder when you count that in. So to cut a long story short, for the last two weeks, I have not been getting out too much um, to do the landscape photography that I love so much. I've been working primarily here in the studio. But something I did do recently was purchase a new backpack. Now, I did that for two reasons primarily. And probably like other people, I have searched and searched and searched for a bag that would carry my drone, which is a Phantom uh, 3 standard, and also my DSLR gear, my um, Canon 5D Mark II, two or three different lenses, some filters, uh, cleaning supplies, cable release, tripod, and other things that I want to take with me when I'm out doing landscape photography. Now, up to now, I've had my drone in one bag and my camera gear in another bag. And often I found myself in a situation where I thought, man, I wish I had the drone with me, but that could be 10 miles away back at the car. So I looked and I searched for a bag that would take everything and that would also be in a price point that I could afford and that I could work with. Now, there's lots of great bags out there and you can spend 300, 400, 500, 600 dollars or more on a backpack to carry your DSLR gear and your drone. What I found was this guy right here. Now this guy right here is a Utilimax Pro 2. Um, and I will leave a link for this, by the way, in the description. If anybody's interested, that's fine. I did purchase this off Amazon.com. Now, so I, I will tell you right now, I am not affiliated with Amazon or this particular product or company. I get no kind of kickback or anything else if a person chooses to buy one of these. I simply wanted to share with you what I found to solve a problem that I was having. And again, that's getting my drone and all my DSLR gear that I need for a particular landscape shoot to the top of some mountain or down some country trail miles away from where my car or whatever is. So this guy seems to do so well for me. Let me show you this bag because it's really quite amazing. And especially when you take into account what I actually paid for this bag. Now this bag, as I say, came from Amazon.com. Um, I live in Ontario, so I purchased this, of course, with Canadian dollars and delivered to my door. This particular backpack was 80 Canadian dollars. Now, 80 Canadian dollars, that's got to be somewhere around, oh, maybe 55 or 60 uh, US dollars, maybe, maybe 45 or 40 uh, British pounds sterling. So just to give you some ideas of what I paid. But anyhow, let's pack this together the way I would pack it when I'm going out doing landscape photography with my drone and let's see how it works. So first of all, my drone, as I said, was a DJI uh, Phantom 3 standard series. Love to have the Mavic, but don't have it. So that slides right into the center compartment, inverted upside down. And it fits in there quite snugly. Secondly, my remote control for that drone right here fits into this compartment at the top. Now, at each side of the drone, I've got different compartments. So I'm going to put my, my Canon 17 to 40 mil wide angle lens in one of those compartments, just like so. Perfect. Uh, in the next compartment, on the opposite side, I'm going to put in my uh, ND filters and my polarizing filters. I'm going to put in two batteries. I'm going to put in my cable release. There's still actually a little bit of room in there for a few more items if you wished. That's probably enough in there. In the front one, I'm going to put my wrist strap, which I use all the time. Some cleaning cloth, cleaning supplies, maybe a bubble blower, whatever you might want for your cleaning. You've also got two more pockets right here. There's actually a lot more space than I would use. More batteries for your drone if you wished, more lenses, whatever. This section folds over, zips closed, just like so. 
This section and the final cover or the final lid also has storage right here. Perfect. Folds over. Zips up. Just like that. Perfect. That drone, I believe, is nice and secure in there and ready to go. Now, in the top compartment, fits quite comfortably my Canon 5D Mark II. On here I have my 28 to 135mm lens, which for me is pretty much a go-to lens. Fits in right here. Now, there's still lots of space in this top compartment for maybe another lens. I could even take a sandwich some kind of packed lunch. Whatever I wanted to do in this top uh, compartment, there's still a ton of room. It's really amazing. And that would fold up like so. So that right there is my basic gear when I'm going up the side of some mountain or down some trail with my drone and my DSLR camera and lenses. Perfect. Some spare batteries, cleaning supplies, everything I kind of need. Now, if um, if I want to use this as checked baggage on an aeroplane, and again, keeping my DSLR gear, my, my, my drone, of course, I would fill up more of those pockets with other items that I wanted to take with me on the aeroplane. It does fit in as a checked luggage. I have measured it and it's fine. Uh, so you can take your drone, your camera and everything else as checked luggage, as, as, as uh, carry-on, sorry, not checked luggage, but carry-on luggage, my bad. Carry-on luggage on the aircraft, not checked. Carry-on luggage. Uh, not a problem. Also, as a photographer, um, <laughs> every time I go somewhere, and I gotta find the zipper for this because I haven't used that compartment yet, but in here you have a laptop compartment. That laptop compartment will actually fit a 17 inch laptop. I use a 15 inch IBM or a Lenovo laptop, a ThinkPad, but a 17 inch laptop fits right in there perfectly. Again, for carry-on. Perfect. It also comes with a really tidy, perfect-fitting rain cover, foul weather cover. Absolutely perfect. It does a great job like that. Now, on the outside is where you can mount your tripod. It only has one strap for a tripod, and I thought at the beginning, I thought, you know what? You know, that tripod might be kind of banging around all over the place and so on, but it doesn't. It actually doesn't. It actually sits there and, and carries quite nicely. If you wanted to, a person could attach another strap. It's not a problem. So right there is your backpack. Fully loaded, ready to go. You can take your drone, your full-size uh, Phantom 3 or 4 series or 2 series, whatever it is, uh, or any other drone for that matter. Um, you can take your DSLR gear with you out on the trail. You've got everything with you. There's side pockets. You can take a bottled water, snacks, other photography gear. The side pockets on both sides. Really quite deep. And side pocket again here for other items, whatever you want to take. Now, granted, it's maybe not um, a top of the line construction. Um, the build is fine. The stitching is fine. The zippers are fine. Of course, they wouldn't compare with a five or six hundred dollar backpack. But for the money I paid, again, around 80 Canadian dollars, maybe 55, 60 US dollars, it's a great backpack that will carry everything you need. I wanted to share it with you because I searched for quite a while for two, two things. A bag that would carry my drone and my DSLR gear on the trail and one that I thought was a reasonable price and I could afford without breaking the bank and spending five or six hundred dollars. So this is the bag I, I bought. It's a Utilimax Pro 2. Got it off Amazon.com. Check it out. I'll leave a link below. Hey, as I said, it's Gary here with Gary Clayton Photography. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. If you like what you're seeing, if you like the content, please Give me a like, give me a share, leave a comment, I will get back to all comments, and please subscribe. Thank you, have a great day, we'll see you next time. Bye. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three.